Welcome back. We are reading for all signs, Aries through Pisces, starting with elemental quickies. So Aries, dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Keep in mind, if it's not your story, acknowledge and move on. Page of Wands reversed. Two more please, source. Ooh. Okay, so that's a connection with somebody. I'm not sure that... They, they, this could lead to something more, but it looks like it started as just fun. But, ooh, they are really attracted to you. So this could have been somebody or is coming in, somebody that's just in it for fun, looking for some new experience, but they might stick around. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. The King of Cups, somebody that is emotionally available. What else? Very open. Ooh. One more. Hoping this is just a character flaw. Let's see what we get. Okay. This is a decision that's needing to be made. Somebody needs to decide. Could be between two people. Does not have to be males. Mm. Which one's worth the investment? Kind of a little bit of doubt here. If that person could be in a different connection as well. Can be that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, death. So it can be Scorpio heavily. What else? What else? Okay. <clears throat> so this looks like there's a separation. Not sure that's going to be a permanent one. What else? One more, please. There might be secrets here. One more, one more, one more, can be Virgo. Okay, so there, wow. I mean, that's some heavy energy here. One more. <clears throat> so Scorpio, Virgo, and Libra are all up here. There needs to be a balance. With justice here, it's saying that this person, I mean, they feel like they see the truth of a matter. They could be seeing um, like a, a little bit of a test here. It's like, this is such strong energy that I'm wondering if, they're kind of weighing their options and holding back. There's a secret somewhere. Holy crap. Can also be Pisces. Be careful with that one. I think there's definitely something that you do not know about. Okay. So if this is a separation, eh, I don't know. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Quite a lot came out. So let's play with it. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so this is somebody that started out very simple. There's been a little bit of an issue here, obviously. We wouldn't be watching tarot. Page of Pentacles is someone that has a lot to offer, but right now it's like they could be feeling like they're not getting any attention. So you got some arguments here. There can be a compromise. This is moving slow as hell, but it does look like this person does feel like you would be wish fulfillment. Can be seeing you getting attention from other people as well. This also flew out. Ten of Pentacles. So this could really lead to something long-term, but it's going slow as hell. Nice. Okay, I get too carried away. Let's get a clean deck. Narrow things down a little bit. Okay, source. For the person most on Aries' mind, what are they thinking and feeling, please? All right. There it is. Okay, I'm feeling choices here. Okay, that was pretty damn close to what you had before. So right now this person's really trying to make a decision. Yeah, it can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's a lot of work that they're putting into something, or they feel that they are. But their feelings are holding back. This is someone that's being honest about things, but right now holding back can be a Leo. Okay, why the lovers reversed? This is how they view you. So this is a disconnection. They don't feel like things are as close with you as they had been before. Break in communication can be that this person is a Gemini. It can be just that. Codependency could be regrets or indecision here. Okay. So this is somebody that they still have positive thoughts about you. How do you feel about this? Oh, okay. This seriously was, you're still, you're both doubting. Seems like this person thinks they're putting more work into the situation. One more. 
one more. It's like, <clears throat> this is saying you feel like the, the pace of the relationship slowed down. Okay. Judgment reversed. You feel like there's some doubt here. Lack of... Mm, lack of movement. But it's like hiding behind a mask possibly and a delay. This could have been an end of a situation. Judgment reversed also can be that there was something that happened that you will not forgive. What do we have moving forward? But the world can show it can be a new chapter with this person. You know what you have a lack of up here? Emotions besides being reminiscing of the past and having positive memories. They still think that you made a choice to move away from them. They're holding back too, brutally. Can kind of be an asshole. Moving forward, you have the magician. So that's manifesting. That is saying that you, no matter what happens, are going to be very willful and, and active towards whatever is best for you. Let's see what it is. I don't think that you're talking to this person. I think there's a lot of anxiety here. One more for movement forward with this person. And it revolves around the commitment. One more for hair font. It's high values. So this is, wow, holy crap. Here's you moving forward. Manifesting, making sure that things are committed the way you need them to be. And the Empress, oh my God, knowing your value, knowing your worth. You're, you know, saying that you're extremely attractive, feeling good about yourself. You might not think that right now. Here's what happens if... <laughs> This could go somewhere. For some of you, yes. For some of you, no. It really depends on what the hell happened that made you feel like this person's not putting enough work into it. They feel like they're putting more work into it than you feel. They're indignant about it. <laughs> holding back. What are they holding back? Because the lovers reverse. There's a lack of communication, but they still have positive memories of you. What do you need to forgive? You know, it's like, okay, this has to end this, this way. Manifesting. A lot of power. The hair font likes things to be just so. It can be that there's a lesson that needs to be learned here. But the Empress is, there's still some battle in you. That is the wounded warrior. That's saying, yes, a little bit paranoid, but there is still some battle in you. So some of you do want this person to come your way and offer something. Bottom of the deck, you have the star. So it can be an Aquarius. The star has a lot of hopes. Wish fulfillment expectations of things to be renewed, yearning, healing, attaining your goal. Let's see what's under that. Counterpart, the king. So this does look for some of you that it could be the starting of talks about this commitment. This is talking. This is a breakthrough, something that you might not see coming, but it's nice energy. Okay, the star, you know, oh, there it is. I will give more to this situation. I do want to come back and talk this out. Now, it doesn't mean just because somebody wants to talk it out that it's going to work out for everybody, but it does look like they have the uh, the idea here to, to man up a little bit, woman up, be closer to your counterpart. This really feels just like two people needing to put more communication into it because one feeling like the other didn't put enough work. But wow. This is somebody that you felt was really your counterpart. Ooh. And that ace of swords, it's like, okay, it's a clear, clear intent based on truth and logic. Very, very clear judgment. It's not judgmental. It's the intention that is very clear and the truth and what's wanted. But it is still a breakthrough and a very good opportunity. Wow. Nice energy, guys. Okay, so this is what I see happening basically right here is this discussion because you feel pretty good about yourself. There is some anxiety and a little bit of paranoia and holding back here, but I don't see anything absolutely atrocious. This lover's reversed can be that there was a choice between two people. Yes, but there needs to be improvement in communication. This, this for some of you definitely feels like your counterpart. And this is somebody that you do care about yearning love, but both of you are a little bit sketchy on who's doing more work. <laughs> That's what we have for you. So we have Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very heavily. Gemini, 
Libra. Uh, Aquarius. Leo, very heavily. All right, let's get an answer from source for you. Yes, no, maybe so for Aries. All right, source. Question for Aries. Yes, no, maybe so, please. One more shuffle. And you have... Nope. <laughs> it's at the bottom of the... Okay. Yes, yes, and more yes. I'm feeling that's more... Do you feel like that person didn't put in enough work? Nope. <laughs> All right, that's what I have for you today, Aries. Thank you so very much. And on we go. Taurus. Okay, dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Two more, please. Two more. All right. Let's see what we have. Okay, so this person's wishing, but they don't think you feel the same way about them because of something that happened that they now feel that they're dropping the toxicity, but they know it's not going to pay off. They're still hoping. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, please. Okay. The Empress. Okay, this person's really feeling stuck. Now, they have a lot of interest in you. They potentially want this to move forward. Could have been that they feel like you are the one that had broken this off. So this, I mean, it's not that when the four of wands comes up, it's not that this no communication can't be fixed, especially with the two of swords reversed. But right now, it doesn't look like you're talking to them. They are still interested. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Cups flew out. What else? What else? Death reversed. Okay. This person still wants to offer something. They don't want this to be the end of a situation. Heavy on the Scorpio. One more. Okay. So they feel like you have negative emotion towards them or bad memories about them or that you're holding on to something from the past. So do they not want to come, you know, your direction to offer something? If you have negative feelings, it can be that there needs to be a big change and it hasn't happened yet. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, please. Judgment reversed. They don't feel that you will forgive them. What else? be hiding behind a mask knight of cups reversed heartbroken what else definitely heartbroken so this person's kind of you know holding back major holding back could have been sneakery and fuckery but right now they're saying they're not going to forgive me woe is me it's almost like they're they're knowing they fucked this up okay clean deck Let's see what we have generally speaking for taurus all right Source, Taurus's person most on their mind. What are they thinking and feeling, please? All right. Okay, so this person right now, their energy is very defensive. <sighs> How they're feeling is independent, alone. One more for the Seven of Wands and what they're thinking. Okay. They don't want to deal with the heartache here. They don't want to deal with communicating about this. So right now they're kind of moving away from the situation and, you know, trying to take care of things that they need to take care of financially. How do they view Taurus? One more. That's the Eight of Pentacles. It's basically saying, yes, you're worth you're worth putting this work into it, but there's so many arguments. It's how they're, you know, viewing you. How do they feel? They don't want to argue. One more. Okay. So they don't feel like you're in communication right now, but they do still have emotions. Uh, the Wookiee, what he told me about the Page of Cups there. It's not even not even right. So it can be a Gemini. Right now, this person's kind of holding back. Very defensive energy. They feel that you're worth putting the work into it, but they don't want the arguments here. 
does not feel like there's communication right now. I'm not saying that they don't care about you. They definitely care about you. This can be an apology that they are pondering because they do have emotion. How do you view this? How do you view this? You're not sure either. Two of Wands. Why the Two of Wands? There is sexual attraction towards this person, but it's still needing to make a choice. Ooh, a lot of passion. Could be that there is another person involved too. One more for that King of Wands. Yeah, okay. So the moon reversed. One more. You feel that there was some deception here or that they are avoiding reality. But it's like, if you know, if you're stuck at this crossroad not knowing exactly what the hell to do, ooh, can be a Libra. This is balance. This is fairness. This is a sweet card. Seeing the truth of the matter, being very objective, it's a very, very strong, strong character, but also wondering, did this person learn their lesson? One more for justice. Oof. Okay. There was something that they did that was toxic. The devil comes up when we want to talk about being very, um, using vices, obsessions, lying to oneself, even temptation of some sort. When we have this uh, bold person coming up here next to justice, it's making me wonder if they uh, saw that you're interested in somebody else because of them moving into a different direction. It also can be that you're going, hey, you know, you made a choice can also just be a Capricorn. What movement does this make forward? Any movement forward. Okay. Not right now. That's very defensive, very paranoid. Defensive, defensive, defensive. You're not ready. For, you're not ready to, to talk about this. You're not ready, not ready, not ready. Okay. This is showing you holding back, not wanting to talk to them. Not that you are giving up completely. Strength can be a Leo, but this is really holding back. So is this, turning your back to this right now, trying to make a determination on what the hell is best for you. It can be a Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius. There's a lot of wands up here. One more for that three. It's, it's kind of like you're anticipating, you're waiting, waiting for happiness. Ooh, heavy on the Leo here with strength in the sun. Not ready. Now, I just said that that can be turned around but not ready. Whatever this toxicity is, it's almost like what that's what the argument was. This can be a choice between two people, and that's why we have an imbalance here, but you fought it out. You were left standing. They walked away. I want one more for that son. What's going to make you happy? Okay, it can be a reconciliation for some of you. Got to say it like I see it. Ooh, also flew out is the wish fulfillment. That is getting contentment. That is getting your way. That is kind of like whatever you wish for, you will achieve. But this is also self-contentment and taking care of yourself and making sure that you know what's best for you and, and attaining your emotional balance for yourself, not for the other person, for yourself. With this nine of wands, I'm really, I'm see this is arguments. It's like you exhausted your emotions at that time anyway. It's really got you guarded as hell. Whatever the hell they did. Now they can just be obsessed with you or you with them. But there does look like the potential of a third party in there. Why the Ten of Wands reversed? It's like you're choosing something else to focus on. And if you're focusing on your wish fulfillment and... This is okay. You got two stories here. Either this person's going to change their ways, and I don't see that. Or you're going to have, I've had enough of this, I'm dropping it, and moving into a different direction towards somebody that is emotionally available. Bottom of the deck. There's reconciliation again, however. Okay, so it can be for some of you. Also, can be out partying and drinking because of heartache. I don't think you're ready to choose. Some of you do want this person back and you're trying to manifest a new beginning. Definitely. But others of you are just going, I just don't know what the hell to do right now. Could be hanging out with friends and trying to get your shit together emotionally and talking things out with other people. So we have 
Leo very heavily. Aries Leo Sag very heavily. Libra very heavy. This King of Wands, oh yeah, gets what he wants. So you will get what you want, but I'm still wondering with them showing up here as so independent. They still have emotions for you, but the, I mean, this isn't love, love. No, it's not. And that is a disconnection and not talking after this fighting and bullshit. But they think you're worth it. Ugh, I'd say they're a little, you know, confused as hell. Okay, let's get an answer from Source for Taurus. One question for Taurus, please. All right, and you have the answer is yes. Okay, thank you, Tauruses, and on we go to Gemini. Okay, Geminis, elemental quickies, and then we shall see what we have for your person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for Gemini, please source. All right, nine of wands, reverse Y. Okay, this is really being paranoid, not wanting to get hurt. Hangman reversed can be also be a Pisces. Why is the hangman reversed? I'm nosy. It's really a major lack of trust. Yeah, they're, they're full of shit. Wow, three major cards of being full of it. Ugh. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Keep in mind, other people can have different placements as well. Okay, three of wands. Why the three of wands? What are you anticipating with this person? Ooh. Ooh. Well, that looks pretty damn nice. So there's anticipation. Oh, this is something that could end up being or that they're thinking about bringing to you. Really trying to decide, but it is two people that plan. But there is a wait here. So we kind of like that. Okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Three of Cups reversed. A delay could have been a yeah okay so this breakup or delay this person's really dragging their feet what else <sighs> so they do want to come your direction they could have just had a recent breakup themselves this is passion this is coming in fast sometimes though can go out oh, just the same way it can also be dealing with more than one person that's what ended up being this break up okay Taurus, a Virgo Capricorn. All right. So we have the Seven of Cups reversed and the Six of Swords reversed. All right. Let's get one more. Six of Swords reversed. I'm feeling a little bit of a resistance here to, to make this final decision, but it can be somebody coming back around. Be careful trusting that one. The Page of Wands is not love. It's in and out real fast. So they're still not exactly sure what they want. Okay, clean deck. Let's see what we have. Okay, Gemini's person, most on their mind. What are they thinking? Thinking and feeling, please, source. Eight of Wands, they want to talk. So they're thinking about coming your direction. The Magician reversed. Ugh. Why the Magician reversed? Queen of Wands. Ooh. So this might be saying that they think that you're a little bit manipulating with your ways, but you, that you always get what you want. How do they view you? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Why the Ten reversed? They don't think you're stable or that you didn't keep your commitment to them. And then you have the Five of Cups. So there again, it's like, how do they feel about you? They, they want to apologize. They want to come back around. A little bit of regret on their side. How do you view this? How do you feel about this? It's a lot of it. The Moon, you don't know what the hell to think. Can be a Pisces. You know, it's almost like you feel like you were brainwashed by some, you know, something. Here it is. Ugh. I don't think you're the manipulator. I think they are. That's the king of swords. That's a real shit ass. And full of shit, too. So this magician reversed. 
I think they feel if they come in with the right topic or conversation that they'll get their way. Now I'm feeling that that Queen of Wands is them. The energy of does not have to be male or female, but the Queen of Wands is very powerful. He or she is confident as hell. They're good looking, but they get what the hell they want. They will do whatever it takes and not shy about it. Be careful. The Knight of Cups reversed is saying that there's heartache here for you. And possibly trust issues. And then you have, yeah, you feel stuck. Why do you feel stuck? Six of Wands. So you're trying to, this is moving a different direction and getting your balance back, but it's also being seen. You could feel that you're getting attention from somebody else. One more for that six. I'm wondering if that's something new coming your way. Nope. Nine of Wands. Why do we have the Nine of Wands? You're very exhausted emotionally about this person and extremely guarded, but it does look like they want you to follow them. One more. Can you overcome this? Yes. Is this, you know, it can be somebody confessing their emotions. Wanting victory. Eight of cups reversed. This is a potential of somebody coming back your direction to talk, but I'm feeling very strongly that they're extremely powerful with how they view, you know, say shit. They're coming your way. Whether it's a distance or not, that's fast communication. Seven of pentacles. You still have doubt. So... At bottom of the deck, you have the stars really trying to think about this. The stars having hope, having wish fulfillment. The two of cups is still having mutual feelings for this person. So it is somebody that you do love. Can feel that it's your soulmate, but it can be energy of reconciliation. So some of you are wanting to reconcile, but I am saying make sure you have all the information because it does look like, yeah, they have an apology. But who's the manipulator here? Because they're thinking that it's you and I think it's them. This King of Swords reverse is really oh, very negating, very negative. He can be a real dick. It's like um, leads. it can lead to conflict. He can be very ruthless and they do not back down. But they can be full of crap doesn't listen they don't even look into the whole picture as being logical all right let's get an answer from source for gemini what do we have yes no maybe so and you have a yes all right gemini's that's what i have for you thank you so much on we go cancers elemental quickies aries leo sagittarius please judgment reversed Okay, this person's thinking about you a lot. They don't feel that you're going to be able to forgive them and really up in their head emotionally, probably crying about whatever the hell happened. Does not look like that they think you will forgive them. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. This person... <laughs> Is saying, hey, you know, um, I won't treat you like an option anymore. Let's let's not have this ending here. Three Pentacles. They're feeling very lonely. They could have breadcrumbed you. Bottom of the deck. Now they want to boss up. It's like I will be more responsible. Can also be that they see that you have more money or they need money. Uh, one more for that Seven of Cups. Why the Seven of Cups reversed? It's like they say, I'm no longer confused. Okay, they're hoping to have a second chance. All right. So it could be saying that I will give more evenly to this connection. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Ooh, four of wands. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so this person wants to get together, offer something long-term, fix things. This can be just um, a lot of communication, meeting somebody that is a Sagittarius at a gathering. Let's see. Oh, I'm nosy. I can't help it. One more. One more for the Four of Wands. 
denied so a little bit indecisive but this person uh, doesn't have any patience <laughs> okay so I mean it doesn't say really much here on if it's new or old but we will see when we get to your full spread Taurus Virgo Capricorn four of pentacles why two of pentacles oh well we're demoting so holding back really trying to decide they're very on the fence about offering you a new beginning that's very substantial so they're going to come at you small that's all pentacles so heavy on that earth sign that could you know right now holding back they have to decide to open up and give that offering so they're still pondering okay clean deck let's see what we have for cancers okay source person most on cancer's mind i'm not feeling that deck not at all clean clean new this one okay here we go what's the person thinking and feeling all right five of cups why the five the lovers okay one more how are they feeling all right this person has a lot of sorrow right now about this connection with the lovers here it does mean that there was one hell of a connection at one time it also can be that there was a choice between two but this five of cups is saying that there's disappointment they're fixated on what they don't have can be missing you how they feel is being you know wanting to probably come and either offer an apology bring something up how do they feel about you three of pentacles so they're willing to put work into this with you one more and death okay so this is saying that this person will work on a change with you also can be a scorpio how do you view this situation knight of pentacles why the knight of pentacles okay i think this is something that you do want this is almost feeling you know possible reconciliation but the lovers here it's like a deep bond but it's still a choice compatibility balance but it's healthy boundaries you are all upright that's incorrect oh bottom of the deck you have the tower reversed avoiding this ending things not being quite as bad as they had been i yeah that's reconciliation for some of you that ten of cups says yes this can move forward temperance healing balance oh my it can be a sagittarius that's really strong energy we're leaving it it's under that three of wands you're taking your time but it is something that would make you happy wow heavy on the, i'm leaving this i'm leaving this i'm leaving this this is really nice energy so you have potential of leo leo sagittarius heavy on the fire and earth but all signs Ooh, not libra gemini and aquarius though gemini though okay so this person wants to it looks like you feel the same way about them what is the blockage what is the blockage okay it's heartbreak so both of you need to heal and with the nine of swords it's saying that you're both anxious about it or one of you more so than the other it doesn't look like there's talking now but ooh, i see them coming your way that's the knight of knight of swords there that's fast because they still have feelings for you and they can see this growing so growing emotion it does show that there's hurt feelings here there are two threes it can have been a third party situation does not have to be but there are technically three threes it's a very strong indication that there was you're saying slow 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 your roll but it is something that looks like it would make you feel very content and happy make a smile you can it's the happiest card in the damn deck it's nice you want something that's methodical and serious but slow balance that's a lot of emotion in that card 
merging together moderation so there again with the, the getting peace and harmony but that healing needs to happen because you are still hurt but this looks like it goes for it so you have scorpio heavy on the fire aries leo sag heavy on the leo leo scorpio this looks like there could be a reconciliation coming your direction yes it does and that ten of cups long term you know it's what you're it's showing that you want okay let's get an answer from source cancers question please source all right maybe but probably not all right so what we have for you so whatever you're thinking i think you're still thinking real heavily all right i'm gonna go to leo's okay leo's we're going to do elemental quickies. We're going to do usual. Yep, we sure are. All right. For Leos. Dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Please, source. Four sorts. All right. What else? Okay. One more. Okay, so this person and you are probably both thinking about each other. Them more so you. I don't think they're coming your direction. Not for a damn while. It's like really trying to... They're avoiding everybody like the plague. And judgment reversed. Hmm. A little bit of guilt here. And major delay. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Oh, goody. Fighting. What else? Squabbles. Bullshit. Drama bickering. One more. Okay. So this is a major delay right here. Heavy on the fire, I'm just going to say. But if they do come your direction, they're going to start really small. I'm nosy. One more. Three of rods says this can move forward, but it's going to be a wait. But it's anticipating. No, not the damn dingle. Emotionally unavailable, but coming at you with something small, like a friend, like a pal. What are the arguments about? Did they step out? Because it sure the hell looks like they aren't reliable. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please, source. All right. We'll take the first four that came out. Death, reverse, magician. No, 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 no. Okay, so this person doesn't want this ending here. This is somebody that there was a lot of sexual energy with. The Magician Reverse can extremely be that this person uh, is a manipulator. However, they can just be damn dumb and misdirected and going the wrong way. And their intent, very questionable. Looks like you moved on. Like there is a separation and a gap. Yeah, there you are. Or them. Knight of Pentacles, alone. Run, hide. I don't think they wanted this to be done. Okay. Taurus, a Virgo Capricorn. Page. Oh, come on. You know what I'm going to say. You know what the Wookiee said about what's in that cup, right? Okay. Two of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. One more. Okay. This person's holding back. They don't, they're not going to open up right now. They do have emotions towards you, but this isn't love. So this can be something new. Moving into clear -er waters, I'm nosy, so we got to get one more. One more. This is not done. So they don't want any arguments. The Six of Swords can tell us that this person might want to come back. Can just be that they're resisting coming back. Or that there's bad timing in love, but they do not feel this is done. There is something that needs to be wrapped up. There is no closure here yet. Holding back or holding on tightly, you take your pick with the um, dick in a cup. Sorry, I had to say it. Had to say it. I'm never going to look at that card the same. Okay, Leo's clean deck. All right, source. What do we have for Leo? Leo's person, most on their mind. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Oh, well, they're being a de devious little jackass. How are they feeling? Uh, 
complete. Now this can be a new chapter that they snuck off away to. How do they view Leo? How do they view Leo? Oh, argumentative. Now that can be that they think you are going to compromise. How do they feel about you? <sighs> mm. Why the chariot reversed can be a cancer. Why the chariot reversed? I think they're a fucking coward, honestly. Wrong direction, jackass. Okay. So they do have, you know, they see you going the other direction. Kind of not having as much willpower as they thought you would have. That's how they're feeling about you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So they think you'll compromise because you don't have the willpower to no fucking way. No, 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 no. How do you view this? That's really saying they don't think that you could turn them down. Hyper stress reverse. This is how you feel about this. You're avoiding the confrontation here. Hiding your feelings, trying to withdraw a little bit. It's like, do they have a hidden agenda? Because you're kind of seeing red flags. Lovers. Choice. What's the fucking blockage? What's the blockage here? What do they do? Okay, the independence is the blockage. The person that you are dealing with, they have hope that you'll take them back and kind of like <laughs> put the flag back up. You know, woohoo, come on, I'll leave a light on for you. I don't think that you want to do that right now. One more for the blockage. I mean, that would say somebody's too independent. No, you can still be with somebody and be very independent. Manifesting the stability can't be a problem. Now we have a problem. So the problem here is the fairness and the balance. Somebody can be a bit of an attention whore. It's like, follow me. Leading you on, leading you to a different direction. This can be a Libra. There was a very heavy connection here with the lovers. It can be a Gemini and then Libra here and Cancer. But they snuck off. Left the situation because it got to be too much work. They see that you, they feel that you are not going to argue this because you don't have enough strength to say no to them because you love them. Justice. Truth of the matter. You have more of a, uh, this is being a little bit, uh, it's like, did you learn your lesson? They don't think this is done. Do you? Some of you don't want this to be done. Can there be a reconciliation? Yes. Bottom of the deck, you get the devil reverse. That's saying, I will drop my toxic ways. One more. Changing their values. Dropping the bullshit. But deep down, they feel a little bit helpless. Don't let them fool you. And then you got the moon, so it can be a Pisces. All right, let's look at these guys here together. Okay. Balance, judgment, using yours, wanting there to be more stability in a situation. There hasn't been a change yet, and this is you holding back and going, are you still hiding things from me? Hierophant can be a Virgo. This, okay, some of you are reconciling right here. You're not as anxious as you had been. There's going to be a choice. You got two paths. But it's like not wanting to be juggled. So could it have been a third party situation? Are you pissed off as hell? Yeah. But it does look like some of you want this. Okay. Let's go back to justice. I'm feeling the need to. This is weighing your options about this potential change that has to happen. It's, a, it's one hell of a change that needs to happen. But who's resisting it? Or it's saying, I'm going to have to call you out a little bit, that you're clinging to the past, but still have fears about the future. Pissed off and, you know, having your say, trying to drop the anxiety. Wanting to get back together and have that connection, that commitment. Did they learn something from whatever the hell happened here? I mean, come on, we start out with their energy as being the Seven of Swords. Holding back emotions or full of shit. They caused an ending, but they want a new chapter is what it is looking like. And they do not think that you are going to say no. Just saying. All right, guys. Wow. Do you think you're a candy ass? Do they not know who they speak of? 
Seriously. Wow. Okay, answer for Leo's. Leo, Leo, Leo. Answer, please, source. Question most on their mind. Affirmative Leo's. Thank you so much. And on we go. Virgos. All right, Virgos. Elemental quickies, and then we will grab a clean deck. Get a shuffle in here. Okay, source. Virgo. Person on their mind if they are an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right. Very independent right now. Trying to get past this heartache. Ah, uh, yeah, that was the end of it. No connection there with that person anymore. Or that's what's going on with them right now. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, Nine of Cups. Why? Two, oh boy. Woo, did that fly. Okay, and it's flipped, so I do have to grab it because we can't see what it is, and that would drive me insane. Okay. Fancy foot. I'll get it. I will. I will. Ha ha. I win. Okay, let's see what it is. All right. Ooh, glad we got it. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wish fulfillment. Very, very content. This is somebody that would, oh, glad we picked this shit up. Very truthful. A breakthrough. This is somebody going, I'm content and I will put a lot of work into this with you and I am honest. Oh, I like it. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Queen of Pentacles. What else? He or she is reliable. However guarded. Why are they guarded? They don't want an end of a situation. So it can be that they see you as being, oh yeah. Now I flipped that in the deck and stuffed it back in. And there it is at the bottom. This looks like this person sees you as somebody that there are mutual feelings for. Very balanced. So this can be a reconciliation, not wanting the end of it. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, no. Yeah, you're dropping this. The King of Wands. King of Wands is very, very passionate. Now there's too many people here. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Seven of Wands reversed. It's like, uh, I give up. I'm done with this shit. I'm not defending it. There's a lack of courage here. Uh-uh. They're a wimp. I think they're, I think they're kind of holding back and hiding something. All right, clean deck. Okay. Source. Virgo's person, what are they thinking and feeling? Thinking and feeling. All right. Okay, so they're thinking about this disunion, we're going to call it. How are they feeling? Like they want to compromise. How do they view you? Okay. They might feel that you kind of friend zoned them and that you're refocusing on yourself. What is the blockage? The lovers. Why the lovers? Okay. The lovers is a choice of two. When it is reversed, it's a break in communication. But it also can be indecisiveness, separation, and uh, codependence, and that there was a bad choice made. High priestess reversed. Avoiding confrontation, but there's still secrets here. They keep them inside. It's the only surface knowledge that you would know about this. So did they, you know, I mean, really, really, did they step out? It looks that way. How do you feel about this person you're not sure three of wands like what are you anticipating are you waiting for them to change because that's still saying that there's interest what are you interested in a balance does this move forward sure the hell can also can be somebody brand new this is showing that you, this is codependence Codependence, emotionally needy, can also be reliance on others or kind of feeling insecure, but it also can be a user. It's not a satisfying feeling. Inferior, uh, 
I think you're done with it. So yes, you can be feeling that way. They could have breadcrumbed you and now you're just like turning your back. The emperor, if you are single, means you should be meeting somebody soon. Can be an Aries, but this person bosses up. Very stable, very strong. It's a very, very strong foundation. Action oriented, a very, very, oh, moving forward. I don't think you're going to be dealing with this person anymore. I still think that you are wondering. You didn't get all the information that you needed. This can also be moving into a different direction, but it is still waiting, trying to make that choice so that there is balance. But I'm seeing you going into a different direction with somebody new. The Wheel of Fortune goes forward, not backwards. Something you might not plan on, but it's a change and it's the beginning of a new cycle and it's a good outcome to your advantage. Ooh, can be a fire sign coming your direction. Here's a sneakery and fuckery that you had dealt with in the past. I don't see them coming your way right now. Mm -mm. They don't feel the same way about you. You don't feel the same way about them. I think you have somebody coming your direction for newer dating. Yes. So heavy on the Aries. New, upright, reversed, old. New. Ignore the card because this is just burdens and having a lot on your plate, which you do, but this is new. New, 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 new. So we have Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think you're very done with this, but they, um, they do, <laughs> they want to compromise or they just don't want to argue anymore. You're refocusing. Yes. The lovers reverse. There's, there's no communication here. Could have friend zoned them. Probably did turning your back and moving towards something that has, I don't think you necessarily see this new person coming your way, but it's coming. All right, let's get an answer. Answer source. Yes, no, maybe so for Virgos. Nope. All right, Virgos. Thank you so much. And on we go. Okay, Libras. Dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What do we have? Source. Okay. No, this person's really depressed and really shitty. Maybe on the Leo. Looks like they're moving forward. And then they have an Aries. So, uh uh, you know, they're manipulating or full of shit, but I see them moving in a different direction. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I can also be seeing you move into a different direction. Okay, I have a cup to offer you. What else? I'm so sorry. Both these cards can be an apology. What else? I will tell you the truth. This person does love you or has one hell of an emotional. That's a lot of emotion. Very, very intuitive and very, very honest. So is this a real apology? Definitely. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The star reverse. A lot of depression in here. Disappointment. Not having any hope or faith. Page of Cups reversed. Yes, we have the dick in the cup. Thank you so much, Wookie. I'm never going to see that card the same again. I don't think this person's reliable. No, this is the end of the situation. They don't have any hope here. I don't think they're reliable, and I don't think they have any apologies coming your way. Okay, Gemini. Nope, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> Ooh, Temperance. We do like that. Be Sagittarius. It's balanced. You see, she's got two cups there. Okay, so this person does not, they want to come back and heal. They want to, you know, come your direction. They aren't content right now, but they do want to try to even, I'm going to say even the score. I'm going to say even things up. Very direct. So that, ooh, oh, I'm nosy. One more for that queen because she can be a real bitch. Yeah, this person wants to have their say about coming back your direction. They could have been a little bit codependent, but they want to heal the situation. They have a lot of honesty. Now, it can be that they feel you should be coming their direction, but I do see potential reconciliation bringing something up. Nice balance, though. Patience, healing. All right, clean deck. Clean deck. Okay, source. What do we have for Libra's person? What are they thinking? Libra's person. 
All right. Three of Cups. Hmm. And the devil reversed. Okay, so this is, this is somebody that wants to reconcile. The devil reversed. One more. This is somebody that wants to change. Ooh. And I think they have the patience. They're holding back a little bit. But this is also having the strength and courage. Ooh. How do they view you? They don't think things are done here. They don't feel things are wrapped up with you. I mean, ooh, that devil. They're having the strength to make a change about something. This is potential reconciliation. They don't think this is wrapped up yet. They don't feel done. Cycle not complete. Failed. Failed it, and it's, it's just not done for them at all. How they feel about you is the hangman. Why the hangman for their feelings? They might think that you're just letting go of it. And then you have the seven of cups. Re I'm sorry, eight of cups reversed. So that's saying that they want to come your direction, but holding back a little bit. That they're seeing that you're holding back, but they do want to come your direction. How do you feel about this? You're, you're willing to take this extremely slow. Ooh, bottom of the deck. You still have a sexual interest for them, even if you're not telling them. There's the reconciliation. Yeah. You still, now you're, you're playing like it's not what they want to think it is or that they might assume, but it's somebody that you have a lot of emotion for. The Empress is growing feelings. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. A lot of sexual tension here. You see them getting what they want, but I don't think you're letting them know exactly that that's what's happening. But you have judgment. That's saying that there is potential of bringing things up and uh, healing. Bringing something up. Reconciling. An apology. Accepting an apology. What direction does this move? Oh, this goes forward. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Yep. That is the Wheel of Fortune, and then the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So it can be an Aries, can be another Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is reconciliation all over this. There is something that's toxic that was dropped. Could have been a third-party situation with the three here, but certainly doesn't really look like it. Slow energy, but there are emotions here. There is love. There is connection. There is stability. The Empress with the growing emotions. It's another three. The only thing that I would be concerned about is this, whatever the hell needs to be dropped, that it stays dropped. Because the Devil Reverse sometimes can resurface. So issues can resurface. So just be aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> really thinking about you and vice versa. Moon, I think there's something that you just don't feel that you know yet. Now, it can be if they're going to accept apology or if you're going to get it. But it does look like it is coming. The Fool is spending time together. It's jumping in. It's taking that damn chance. But, ooh, it looks damn good. Okay, I'm leaving it there. It looks really good. This person does want to come back your way. They do have feelings for you. Whatever the hell they had done, they are dropping it. Cleaning up their act. Okay, let's get an answer from Source. Libras. Source. Yes, no, maybe so for Libras. All right. Undetermined. Okay. I think you're going to hear from that person. Hold them back or not. They're still coming in. They're getting, their, they're getting balls. They're inflating their nads. All right. Scorpio is dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Woo! 180 in the air. Hermit reversed. There are two more. Can be a Virgo as well. Nine of Cups. Death reversed. Okay. One more. I'm nosy. Resisting a change. Okay, so I feel like they're ignoring you right now on purpose. But you got the nine to the ten. What are they avoiding change about? <laughs> They're going to make up their mind to come your direction and offer something. It might not be exactly the commitment that you're looking for, but I do see that right now they're ignoring you. 
Um, but it looks like it all ends well. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, that's bullshit right there. Mm -mm. No, this is something that doesn't make you happy. They know you do not feel the same way about them anymore. They caused a lot of damage. That bitch is bossy when she's reversed. Okay. Unreliable. And they don't care how other people feel about... They don't care how anybody feels. They are all about themselves. Run away from that. Okay. What do we have for Gemini, Libra... No, I'm sorry. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Pentacles. Much better. Wow. Page of... Okay. So this is... Uh, a small offering, but it looks like it could be a little bit of dope too. So you have the King of Pentacles that has a lot to offer, but this is just like a little bit here. Just take a little. I still have doubts here. Wanting to remain single or seeing that you want to remain single. What's underneath of that? Oh, they're not done. Ah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. Okay. So you got the five here. Disputes and arguments with the Wheel of Fortune. I think they got some god dang karma. Just saying. However, if we stuck with these three, there is doubt about this. This is that person trying to boss up and say, I have I have something to offer. It's small. Keep it in mind. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The star. So it can be an Aquarius as well. Expectations. Oh, I hit the four. And we're taking it. We're taking it. Come to Mama card. Okay. You have the Page of Wands. This is somebody that has sexual interest for sure. It's new messaging. It's something positive. One more. That could be very, very new. Oh, and they're impatient. Oh, I'm nosing one more. It could be Sagittarius. Let's see if they stick around. Ooh, ooh, I flipped that in the deck. Just to see, Ooh, there it is. So there is somebody that, and it seems very new, can be younger than you. Temperance reversed is kind of impatient. <laughs> I'm feeling that they want to get things moving here. Mm -hmm. Temperance also can be a little bit unbalanced. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But this does look like something that could move into a connection or serious dating. Okay, clean deck. Clean deck. Scorpio. Okay, Scorps. Or Scorpios. Person most on their mind. What are they thinking and feeling? Oh, the fuckery. Seriously? Okay, so this person's holding back on the full of shit. Not open. Why the fuckery? Why the seven of bullshit? I came outsiders. We're going to leave it. Okay, they made a choice and it was bullshit. They want to come back your way. Don't. They're all, oh, yeah, really wanting to come back your direction. That's two cards. I'm out in the cold. Woe is me. I'm not going to offer anything emotionally. I got my arms crossed. How do they feel about you? How do they feel? So they view you as, I'll come back to you, but they see, but they feel about you the Knight of Swords reversed. One more for the Knight of Swords reversed. Twisted. I think they're full of shit. They think you're full of shit and leaving some truth out of it. How you view them. The sun? Positive? No. Really? One more for how you view them. Okay. Yep. Sorry, but I got to say it. This looks like you want to drop the conflict. Nine or five of wands reversed. Can be a Leo. Just that simple. But this is saying, I'll compromise. Why do you need to compromise? What happened here? One more for that seven. Because it sure looks like they uh, they made a bad choice. Yeah. Page of Pentacles reversed. Why the page reversed? Why the page reversed? It's not like um, irresponsible. Lack of effort or commitment. And that's asking about the fuckery card. Okay. Ooh. This also can be that you're moving into a different direction. How you're feeling. We asked how you are feeling. How you're feeling about this or how you're feeling, period. If you're happy, compromising, 
and you also got the page of wands. That's positive. Here's a new opportunity. Some of you want to reconcile with this person. There could be an apology coming your way. There's still heartache here. Nine of Cups. This is showing your wish fulfillment. What's coming if you attempt to? Justice. And more anxiety. So, mm, can be a Libra coming your way that's going to make you feel happier as well, though. You got two pages here. They're less mature. Okay? This is not love. This is definitely not love. But this is showing you being happy about whatever the hell it is. This person up here didn't rely on you. You're still heartbroken. I think you have somebody new coming your direction. I'm sorry, that story just does not make any damn sense. Some of you want to reconcile. Yes. And some of you could have an Aries Leo Sag coming your direction. Or a Libra. I don't think you're, you know, this person wants to work this out. The The lovers came out sideways. So it's, is, is it two people that have a lot of emotion for each other? Or was it a choice between two people? Was it a third party situation? Because wow, this is really a split. That person that you had dealt with is still not showing any reliability and immaturity. And yet it does look like they want to offer something. The hell is that? Oh, sorry, can't really see the cards. Sorry, guys. Okay. I'll just slide this over. I'm starting to tick the tarot reader off here. There we go. That's better. Oh, guys. Okay. Old, upright, reversed, new. New. Seven of Cups. Making up your mind. The person from the past put you in a lot of doubt, and you're not seeing that that can go anywhere. That is what that is showing. But still, some of you want to reconcile. Just saying. Two sevens. I mean, that's making some ground, but really not much. Yeah, you're watching. You're really going to have to think about this. This is manifesting. Some of you are trying to manifest an X back, just period, because you think that's going to be your damn happiness. I don't care what the hell you say. Four of swords reversed. Oy. You know, that's going, I want to get this moving. I want to move forward. I want to get this done, done, done. Yesterday, restless and ready to talk. That's what I have. I have encouraged to do so. Really, you know, <sighs> woe is me, feeling hurt, trying to get your strength back, trying to inflate your balls, because this is looking like you're the one that wants this. And they see that. And yet think they're full of it. So there is a trust issue between the two of you, period. And yeah, I'm kind of calling you out. Because if you reconcile with this person, you're still going to have anxiety. You're still going to have concerns. You're still going to wonder about something. You can't rip band-aids off boo-boos. There isn't a band-aid big enough to fix third party if people don't talk it out. They're still spying. Are you going to still be spying on this person? Keep in mind, rules can be reversed. But this looks like spying on someone, checking up on them, still having doubt in their intent. Sorry, it's there. All right, some of you are reconciling. Gemini. Libra. Justice. You know, I just got to. Okay. Justice. Very, very, you know, determined to have the truth. But it's cause and effect. You know, being objective, but needing to be weighing your options. Needing to be strong and objective. Making whoever did whatever accountable for their, for their actions and see if they learned a lesson. Feeling the need to say that as well. Okay. And yes, it can be just that they held back on their emotions and, and, and held back on their emotions very harshly. Okay. Anyway, let's get an answer from source. Sorry, guys. You got me all wound up. Too much coffee, too, maybe. Okay. It's the Wookiee's fault. We'll blame him. Blame the Wookiee. He isn't here to take it. All right. Scorpio's question. What do we have? Ask again later. Someone needs more talk? Okay, on we go to Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or another Sagittarius. The devil can also be a Capricorn. Why the devil? 
Six of Wands. Okay, so this is obsession. This person is definitely interested in you. One more. Eight of Cups, but they see you moving away. Now, it can be that they had something that um, you didn't like as a vice, and so now they're seeing you get attention from other people, but right now, not communicating. Nope, nope. So, bye-bye, devil. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Five of Cups. Why the Five of Cups? Disappointment, remorse. Ooh. Ooh. Me in that air. So this person ooh, wants to come in fast and furious and defend this. Can be that they have an apology, but there is a disappointment here. It can be that they're missing you, so they're coming your direction too. Okay. What do we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces? Ten of Wands. Mm. Okay. This is saying this is a lot to take on and, and that you emotionally have moved away from them. So this person is feeling like this ending was very hard. But this person isn't balanced or isn't offering anything balanced and could be a little bit impatient. But they're, they're hurting. They are. They feel this was hard. Hard break. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles, what else, Seven of Wands reversed, they feel you're dropping this, Three of Cups, so they do want to reconcile, be more responsible, but they feel like you're dropping it, oh I'm nosy, one more for that, Seven of Wands reversed, might be just giving up on it, period, but still wanting it. Yep, the lovers. There is a connection here. There could have been a choice between two people, but it is also a potential choice to work things out. Could have been a soul connection, somebody that there was a lot of love for. All right. Queen deck. Person most on Sagittarius's mind. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Ooh, I have truth for you. They want to break through. How are they feeling? Uh -huh. How do they view you? Okay, and how do they feel about you? Let's get a couple out here before we... Okay, so that can be love. I mean, it sure the hell looks like it. All right. What they're thinking about is coming your direction and spilling truth, okay? So how they're feeling is like they aren't getting their way so a little bit of a pity party here and just not focusing how they view you very energetic positively the page of wands has messaging something positive but it also is sexual energy how they feel about you is pure love i mean the queen of cups is very very loving how you feel about this uh let's move this up a little bit is the strength card why are you holding back a little bit? It's also courageous. How do you feel about the Oh, boy. Okay. You feel this is your counterpart. It just is. You got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. This is, this is somebody that doesn't know. This one's ready to use their intuition. I feel this way about you. This is you holding back a little bit because the King of Cups has the emotions, but it, they don't just spew it out. Okay, where the Queen does... The king, not so much. He's like, I will communicate how I feel about this, but I'm using my intuition as well. So it's like quiet, laid back, doesn't display the emotion to the full potential so that they can still think about what they want to do. Okay, but they are, it is showing that you do have feelings for this person. Moving forward, what can happen if we move forward? Oh, there it is. Sorry. It's reconciliation. Or this can be absolutely brand new damn love. Gemini. But the lover's card is very aligned. It's a deep bond, a choice. It's two people you couldn't get any more compatible. Can just be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, get Leo and Gemini as well. So this can be, I have truth to offer you. But, ooh, one more for the lovers. 
That's healthy boundaries. I mean, I really like it. And it's right in between. That's thinking about you. Now, it does not have to be an ex, but they want to offer you love. Ace of Cups, it's a new beginning. So it's not like, yeah, it's a new love. It's their emotions that run deep. A feeling of a perfect match. And boy, it sure shows that. Perfect match. Love. No bullshit. Very clear. Could happen faster than you think. Getting over this heartache, dropping it, and becoming committed again. I mean, this is really nice energy. Being more big boy, big girlish, and, and being stable. This has got oh, beautiful energy to it. It really, really does. So it does look like some of you could have a brand new person coming your way that you have one hell of a connection with. They're really thinking about you, but it is after a heartache that they had. But patching up also can be reconciliation. You know, not as hurt as it what as they had been or you had been. Having the strength and the courage to start anew. So it depends on your story and which one's going to resonate. But wow, holy crap! So we have the Hierophant, you have Taurus, Leo, Gemini, heavy water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. A little bit of fire and a little bit of air, but wow, wow, that's that's very dynamic energy. Okay, let's get an answer for you. Answer for Sagittarius, source. Yes, no, maybe so for Sagittarius. Spirit says no. We have the bottom of the deck. Kitty says yes. Okay, on we go. Okay, Capricorn, dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do we have? Source. Ugh, this person feels stuck. Very stuck. Very indecisive. Very much not coming your direction right now. Why are they stuck? No, nobody's ever stuck. They're dropping this. So we drop them. Shun. Shun the fire sign. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. No. Okay, so this person does, they're sorry. This is a row. I will drop this. I want you to come back. This person's hurting. Very upset. How do they view you? Really not sure. Really not sure. But they do want to drop the bickering and the bullshit. Okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Tower Reverse. That's another one there. So, you know, guys, I gotta tell you. Okay. <clears throat> so, how they view this is I don't want this to be done, but it's done. One more. I can also want to come back your direction. Okay, so this person's ready to talk. That's about as far as we're gonna go with that one right now. But, ooh, it does look like they're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Where's Virgo Capricorn? Oh, more sorrow. I'm sorry. A lot of ass kissing going on in these cards. Mm -hmm. They want to move forward. They want to be victorious. What else? Hold them back, though. How do they view you? I'm nosy. I can't help it. I can't help it. Whatever the hell you decide, okay? This could move forward. After an apology, because, ooh, there's disappointment here. A little regret. All right, clean deck. Cappies, let's see it. Let's do it. What do we have for Capricorn's person? Please source. What do we have for Capricorn's person? What are they thinking and feeling? All right. Ooh. Knight of Swords, that's fast action. So they're really thinking about coming your way with the truth. How are they feeling? Nine of Pentacles, single, independent. How do they view you? How do they view view? Five of Wands, pissed off. Five of Wands could be that feeling of competition and not digging it so much. How they feel about you is the devil reversed. <laughs> ah, interesting. 
So this is showing you free. Or that you do not see your role in this issue. How do you feel about them? Let's move this up a little bit. Ten of Swords reversed. So, hmm, one more for how you view them. Come on. You see them healing and moving on and that they didn't put enough work into the situation. That's what it's saying. How do you feel? How do you feel about them? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so they were your your rock and your foundation at one point in time. Bottom of the deck, you feel, think they're full of shit. Page of Swords reversed is not reliable. They do not speak the truth. Mm -mm. Gossipy and shitting around town, talking about you in a negative way, potentially. Yuck. What do we have moving forward? Forward, forward, forward with this person. Three of Wands. Nothing right now. You're going to be waiting. So it does show that they want to come talk. We're leaving it at that. Just, you know, like before, it's like they want to talk. It's like the Four of Swords reversed. But the Three of Wands shows that you are really trying to make a decision on what the hell you want. It's like there's increased interest, but there's a wait. And there it is. You do not trust this person. You think they're can be you gossiping too, but you think they are. What do we have new? New, 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 new. Two of cups. So some of you are gonna reconcile. Straight up, bottom of the deck. It's gonna have to start pretty damn small. One more for this page of swords reversed. Two of pentacles. Juggling. Reversed. Juggling. Reversed. Nope. Okay. So this person is really on the fence and so are you. But they do have something stable to offer you. There could have been competition. But there was definitely arguing here. And they're seeing you as the devil reversed. Yeah. Can this move forward? Yes, it can. It's going to be time. Do you want this is the next question. And we have the star. So yes, you want a new start. Fool at the bottom of the deck. This is something that you want. It's not really giving me much as far as what the hell happened. But, you know, you're letting go of the ending. But you're, you're dropping and healing and moving on there as well. Forgive and move on. That's what it's looking like here. The Wheel of Fortune says yes. The Wheel of Fortune says yes. The star says yes. The Two of Cups says two people that have emotion for each other, but there is a weight here, but you do see them as your rock or foundation. One more for the devil. Just gotta be noisy. One more for the devil. Now, it's freedom from addiction, but it's also free, generally speaking, and dropping toxicity and bullshit. There's truth. Okay, so speaking your truth about how you feel about things very responsible this is your energy here this is you know to clarify that devil this looks like it moves forward oh come on you got a counterpart here a lot of truth a lot of truth a little bitchiness i'm gonna lie and right underneath of that after the bitchiness and the um bullshit talking is out of the way and the healing healing through your cups that's a reconciliation very, very strong energy for a reconciliation. So you have the Aquarius. This moves forward. And however it moves forward, you succeed. You get what you wish for. This person wants this to be, you know, yesterday. However, they're, they're holding back a little bit, making sure that they can take care of themselves, that they can be independent. And that could have been what some of this conflict was about. All right. So we have... Capricorn could be dealing with another Aries water signs are up here Aries Leo Sag all signs are up here but wow a little bit of gossipy bullshit though but you know that does happen when people are having problems okay answer please for Capricorn I smile guy 
What do we have? You have affirmative. All right, nice energy. A little up and down, but stagnant, stagnant. But there will be some conversating. Oh, it's coming. Okay, Aquarius. You know, I got the mic on and I didn't even put the damn thing in. There, okay. <laughs> that helps usually, right? Okay. Let's get a clean deck. We're going to do our elemental quickies for Aquarius. All right. Source, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. The Jackass of Cups reversed and the Five of Pentacles reversed. I want to come back to you because I feel hurt. I'm feeling sorry for myself. And the Four of Pentacles reversed. They feel like you dropped it. Bottom of the deck. Might be an apology in the works here. Mm-hmm. All right, what do we have, please, source for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Swords. All right, I got a pistol here. Ooh, okay, that what flying all over the damn place. Okay, so this person wants to get this shit out of the way. They're really not sure if you are ignoring them on purpose or not that came out very sideways so that's probably what's pissing them off but they do have wishes to move towards you definitely heavy on that aquarius but they could be pissed off because they think that you are ignoring them just saying don't shoot the messenger okay cancer scorpio pisces also can be a virgo there okay page of wands sexual interest messaging can be somebody who is younger than you. Eight of Pentacles puts work into a situation. We like this so far. Oh, hello. This is new. Okay. So this is newer energy coming your way that can be younger. But the magician is going, oh, yeah, I got this shit going on. I do put work into it. But they want to start with sexual rendezvous and getting to know you. But it is still positive. I kind of dig it. Yes. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles. Two more. Queen of Bitchiness. No, no. I don't deal with that. Three of Pentacles. No, 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 no. There's a doubt in this person's mind if you're going to rip their head off and that you would work in this situation with them or not. Nah, sorry, but they're calling you a bit, 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 bitch. Okay. All right. Aquarius. Person most on their mind has a lot to say. Hangman reverse, King of Pentacles. And the temperance came out and it's sideways, so we're going to take it that way. Okay, so what they're thinking, King of Pentacles, how they're feeling is the hangman reversed. I want clarification for that. This would be, so I'm going to put it over here because I like to do that. This would be how they view you okay one more for the hangman reverse why is it reversed i don't trust you i don't see any progress here one more eight of pentacles but they're willing to put a lot more effort into this really that can just be a pisces why do they feel temperance sideways half cocked is between uh, a healthy balance and an unhealthy balance so they could be seeing that you are uh, mm, that your emotions are kind of like a roller coaster also can just be a Sagittarius six of swords interesting for how they feel about you why the six of swords one more shuffle so that's you know it's kind of like triggered but moving way and that you have doubts or they have doubts one more taking the first one that came out ace of cups so they do want to offer something this is how we go here now how you feel the chariot the queen of cups and the queen of wands okay so how you feel and view them you have a lot of sexual energy you do have emotions for this person i would say love or highly intuitive can be a cancer but the chariot 
That's, that's movement forward. That's succeeding. One more for the chariot. Very, very bold and a lot of willpower. It's like goal achieved. And you want it done yesterday. That's like yesterday, major yesterday. So this person can be at a distance or they could have emotionally distanced themselves, but you, you see them with a lot of passion and love. What's the blockage? Oh, for cripe's sake. We're not taking half the god dang deck, but we will take the five of cups, the justice, and the page of cups. And what it seems to me... Um, the sun reversed was right underneath of it. So somebody's depressed. They feel very, very disappointed. Can be a Libra. Justice and the Page of Cups. So this person, okay, that's it's like disappointment, wanting balance. Oh, you an apology. Probably going to get it. The blockage is them getting off their dead ass because the King of Pentacles is slower than hell. Whether they're working or not, I don't quite frankly give a shit. And I don't think you do either. And that's probably what makes you a little, feel a little bit goddamn moody. See the spanking here? See the spanking? Mmm. Heavy Libra in case I didn't say that before. But they're dragging their damn feet is what I'm feeling the need to say. And you're like, get your ass moving. Make up your mind. Shun. We're shunning everybody. I'm shunning everybody. They see you trying to... <laughs> wishy-washy up and down kind of indulge but they still want this new beginning to start new emotions emotions that run deep can also be that they're seeing that you have doubts and that you are loving yourself giving yourself what they neglected to do i'm just going to put that out there but there is this blockage of fairness and balance the justice can be uh, that this was some kind of test, but it's still weighing the options. It's like this or that, this or that. What is the truth of the matter? Somebody was in apology. Somebody needs to kiss your ass. How does this pan out? Ten of wands. Okay, that's shared burden. This is something that would take hard work. What else? Ten of cups reversed. Might not be worth your damn time. One more for the Ten of Cups reversed. Page of Pentacles. You make friends on their ass. Fine. Fine. Then we will be that way. Bottom of the deck, strength reversed. You might rip their god dang head off. Just tell them like I see it here. Strength reversed is like, I'm not holding back anymore. You're going to get it. <laughs> you are going to get it. But the, it does look like they do come your direction. It sure does. With a solid offer. Ooh, you're really going to have to think about that. You are pissed. You see how this, this lady, male or female, cut this person's head? Oh, yeah. She's so right. Look at the smile on her devious little face. So you're not happy about this. <laughs> you are sick of waiting. It's like, shit or get off the pot. One more. Okay, we got two. So you're watching the situation very, very closely, but with the five of, ooh, there's some heavy arguing here. That's really ticked off and will cut out anything that does not serve you. The Page of Swords is kind of collecting information. What do you feel the need to collect the information about is my question to you. Uh-huh. Because they seem to have disappointment. This is, you know, if this was reversed, you'd be like, here is the apology, but they're still contemplating it. What do we have new, 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 new? Four of Cups. So refocusing. And the Five of Pentacles. You're going to continue not talking to this person. That's the Nine of Wands. That's saying that you are still guarded. You do not want to be hurt by this person anymore. Moving into a different direction very slowly. Screw and sex, fun. Oh, yeah, screw and sex, fun. So I don't think you're going to, if they do, they don't think this is wrapped up. There needs to be, you know, you guys keep getting this. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Judgment. Somebody is going to try to kiss your ass and come back your way. Sorry, but the world reversed is showing that this, this is not, can be just a failed attempt at reconciliation. Yes, but there is... A potential for some of you to repeat 
this cycle that is not complete for somebody, but there's still insecurity going on with that person and there seems to be financial issues. Judgment. Use your judgment. I don't care if we're putting a stake on our ass and she gave five pounds or not. Taking your time learning. The hermit also can be a lawyer. Justice can be lawyer. Three of wands is, is uh, time, waiting. Take your sweet ass time. There's still something that's not wrapped up. And with the hermit, this can be learning about a situation. Oh, I just feel the need to say that. One more for the hermit. It's like solitude by choice. There's still something you do not know. I don't think that you're talking to this person right now. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. But they still do not think it's done. I mean, this just keeps repeating itself. And then <laughs> dropping the headache. Six of wands wanting to win. Five of wands more arguing. Trying to avoid an ending. It's just cycling through the same damn shit. You got emotionally immature and codependent. Two of wands, a choice that's got to be made. Ah, same thing. It just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. I still feel this learning, needing to learn something, lawyer potentially, yes. Um, there's something that is just not right here. Can be a Pisces. There's deception. There's anxiety. Somebody's avoiding reality. I, I just keep, it keeps repeating itself. So Sagittarius, no wonder you're fucking moody. Go figure. Yes, it is somebody that you loved at one time or you're trying to decide where the hell to put your love or it's self-love, taking care of your damn self. Just saying. I mean, I took half the deck out here just to try to get the same story three times. Just saying, just saying. Okay, we'll go through this for fun though. Signs, all signs. Heavy on the Cancer. Heavy on the Sagittarius, heavy on the Pisces, a lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. It's all up here. What else was heavy? Virgo, Scorpio, and Pisces again. Okay, let's get an answer from Source. Every once in a while, this, for whoever that resonates, there's a need for a lawyer. Whatever your question is, you got a hell no. All right. I'm going to go. Pisces. Here we go. Here we go. Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sag. Ooh, the Empress. This is somebody that is wanting there to be growth. Ooh, they're, ooh, they're afraid of getting hurt. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so they might... <laughs> One more, I'm nosy. I can't help it. Strength reversed. Heavy on the Leo. Okay, let's see what popped out with it. It's like they're irritated because you won't... They're interested. There's a fear of being hurt. <laughs> they want you to make up your mind. That's kind of what it's looking like here. Yep, a little pissed off, irritated. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Lovers reversed. This is a breakup. Major stalemate. Indecision. Shun. Shunning them. Oh, and a jackass. Okay. There's no emotion here. Mm -mm. Could have made a choice between two, but uh-uh. They might be honest, but they're brutally honest. Oh, no. See? Uh-uh. No. Busted. No. 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 Shun. Shun the king of shit. Okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Better. King of Pentacles. What else? Ooh. Oh, I'm digging this shit. Okay. So you have this person that is very reliable. Heavy on the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Sorry, I know it's supposed to be for water, but this is showing I am single, but I have a hell of a lot to offer. And it looks like they could be well off. Very independent. Very well able to... Oh, bottom of the deck. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, please, Source, let it be new. Yes. So they might come in just as a fuck buddy first. I'm just going to tell it like I see it here. But boy, it does look like they have potential of long term. Mm-hmm. Could be seeing you single and very, very real. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Now we will do Taurus Virgo Capricorn. T 
tower reverse flipped right in the deck. So whoever this is is trying to avoid this ending. The world reversed. This cycle is not complete and they are frustrated. It is delayed. Ooh, but they don't want it to be. They want to reconcile. Okay. Shun them too. Shun. It's the day of shunning. All right. Clean deck. Source. What do we have for the person most on Pisces mind? What are they thinking and feeling? Okay. So they are thinking that you're a hottie toddy, that this could probably grow. King of Pentacles, that you are reliable or dragging your feet or things are moving too slow. They're just kind of well off. And no, I'm thinking they're, I, I think, I think I need more. Let's see how they view you first. I get too excited. How do they view you? Slow is more lasses. How do they feel? feel about you wheel of fortune reversed okay so they feel like uh <laughs> they feel like they got a little bit of karma and they feel like you probably friend zoned them one more for that king of pentacles for how they feel generally speaking about the situation oh they're disappointed as hell but they really dig you how do you view this person? How do you view this person? I get one more pentacle. Why do you feel stuck? It's the eight of swords. Like, are you overthinking it? Doubt or insecurity? But trying to make a decision. Interesting. How do you feel, feel, feel? One more. Okay, you're trying to use your intuition, so you're not just jumping into anything. Why do you feel stuck? Because you haven't made up your mind yet. This is disappointment, but it also can be thinking about an apology, because that's disappointment, regret. It's like they're missing you. Could be a little bit fixated on what they don't have. How does this move forward with this person? Ten of Wands reversed. Hmm. It's too much. You gotta. You have to choose what you want to focus on. I don't know that it's them. Hang man, you're still holding back. That's a delay, but also can be just dropping it, letting go. Not sure what the hell you want to do, so you might say this is just a missed opportunity because I'm not ready. And then you have Death reversed. Why Death reversed? So fear of change, trying to resist, it's like staying in limbo. Oh, okay, so you're afraid of jumping in too quickly. You think they could be a little bit immature or that they're toying with you. This can be an Aries, death can be a Scorpio. One more for that fool reversed. Oh, and there it is. It took that long to get this. You don't know that you can rely on them. They may have walked away from you before. Yeah, it took all of that to get this. Really, seriously. Cards, seriously. Okay, so this is in and out. So either player action or very on and off. So this is a connection that's been on, off, on, off, on, off. They could have gotten a little bit of karma, but they did move away from the situation. Now they, you know, I'm not really watching you. Knight of Swords, full of shit about something. The Knight of Cubs upright would be an apology. <laughs> Reversed, not so much. Mm -mm. It's like, are you scamming me? You're holding back your emotions? Or you're really, really hurt? What's new coming for you? Positive messaging, something mm, that has longer term, long term. But it can be that apology that is coming with the reconciliation and the commitment however i'm feeling this is new new cycle mm -hmm. so some of you could have a taurus taurus virgo capricorn aries or a fixed sign so i only know a couple of those i'm not gonna lie um taurus scorpio leo would be a guessing game i'd have to google i better google that shit this looks like you're moving into a different situation. I have to be honest. That's what I am seeing here. 
as far as the the ex I still see you continuing not talking to them and not ready it's just like you're putting that final nail in that coffin going I'm tired of repeating this cycle nine of wands reversed there's no trust it's like I'm not letting my walls down I, I'm just throwing in the white towel when it comes to that person moving forward you're not choosing them no mm -mm. you're taking your happiness elsewhere that is what I have so let's see you have newer energy coming your way. To you, this is done and you're wrapping up this cycle. It doesn't mean that you didn't love this person. It doesn't mean that it didn't hurt, but you're using your intuition. They pulled this shit is what I'm feeling the need to say one too many times. Knight of Swords reversed. Not reliable. It can be really, really, really shitty with how they see things. They come in fast and they just bleh. It's like word vomit and it doesn't come out very nice. But very on and off, very on and off, very on and off. And you got two nights. So it could have been that there was a third party situation of sorts, even if it was work, working too much, not giving enough attention to the situation, not giving enough attention to you. Feeling stuck. Trying to narrow down your options. Trying to do what's best for you can be a water sign as well that you're getting emotions for. But it's a new beginning. And the Page of Wands is fun. The Page of Wands is, uh, oh, you know, it can be a short relation, but it's still fun. It looks like there could be more potential. Gain some experience, gain some confidence. It's romance. But it looks like this person sticks around with the hair font. So it can be a Taurus. A lot of, there are too many people in here, I would say. But it does feel like you going into a different direction. It sure does. Not having the stuck feeling anymore. You're just dropping it. It's like, I can't do, I can't anymore. No. Nope. Go away. Friend zoning. Friend zoning. They got some karma. You're holding back. You are denying and delaying on them. It can be a Pisces. I will look through these. So you had Scorpio, water signs heavily. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Libra, Aries, Scorpio again. Heavy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but everything is up here. Yep, you've made your final judgment. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taking it elsewhere. Peace, dude. We out. Deuces to that one. Okay, that is what I have. We're going to get a yes, no, maybe so for you. Yes, no, maybe so. I cannot make a short video. I just can't do it. Yes, no, maybe so for Pisces. Okay, well, two came out for you. You have indeed, and you know the answer. All right, Pisces, thank you so much for viewing. Many blessings, and we will see you next time.